Hello everyone, this is Rubin Murain and I welcome you to the practical session. This time we are going to discuss about a gravimetric estimation containing a mixture. When you talk about mixtures, so that means it has to contain at least two components. And the aim of the experiment is to estimate those components individually in terms of percentage. What are those two components? It's barium sulfate and ammonium chloride. So the aim of the experiment is to determine the percentage composition of barium sulfate and ammonium chloride present in the given mixture. Barium sulfate and ammonium chloride are present together. Individually, we need to find out the percentage. Now, here, my dear friends, we are very clear that the given mixture contains only two components. Alright? So, if you determine one of the components, then the second component is very easy. Suppose if one of the components is say 20%, so how much will be the other? Yes, you guys get right, it's 80 percent Okay, so this is the way the simplest form of calculation can be done to evaluate individually the percentage composition of barium sulfate as well as ammonium chloride. Alright? Now how to carry out this experiment? I'll explain you the theoretical aspect and then I'll give you the practical demonstration of that. So, to start with, step number one and that is we are going to make one gram of the mixture in a previously weighed in a previously weighed silica crucible. So that means we have to first of all weigh the silica crucible and into that we are going to take how much? One gram of the mixture. And then we are going to heat it. Heating has to be done. How is this to be done? That practically I will demonstrate to you. Okay, what are the apparatus required? What is the technique of heating? So heating has to be done of this crucible containing 1 gram of the mixture and the heating has to be done for up say 20 to 25 minutes. Alright? Next is we need to cool the crucible. In a desiccator, I'll explain you what is that when I give you the practical demonstration of the experiment. So, cool the crucible in a desiccator and then weigh the crucible. Alright? Now, how exactly the reaction takes place? That I'll explain you. Initially, my dear friends, we have BASO4 along with what? Ammonium chloride. They are together. Now, heating is being carried. So what is the change taking place in this particular reaction is we have BASO4 plus NH3 plus HCl. This is what we get. Okay, these are two solids. So it's a solid mixture. All you think, can you see this? BASO4 and BASO4, no change. So that means barium sulfate is stable to heat. It's thermally stable, BASO4. But what about ammonium chloride? Ammonium chloride breaks down into two components. What are those? NH3 as well as HCl. And the most important my dear friends, and that is the beauty of this experiment, that makes this experiment so simple enough, and that is when ammonium chloride decomposes into ammonia and HCl, both of which are in the form of a volatile component. Alright? Ammonia, of course, you know it's volatile, and these my dear friends don't call this as hydrochloric acid. It's hydrogen chloride gas. When it is passed in water, then it becomes a hydrochloric acid. But here, this is a hydrogen chloride gas and this is volatile. So what happens is during the heating process, this ammonia and HCl is going to be volatile off, so it gets evaporated. And as a result of this, when you cool the crucible in the desiccator and then you weigh it, so that weight corresponds to what? BASO4. So in the previous case when I took the weight of 1 gram of the mixture along with the silica, previously weighed silica crucible, it was the weight of both barium sulfate as well as ammonium chloride. After heating, okay, it is only the weight of B 
KSO4. So that means on heating, what we say is there is a loss in weight. And that loss in weight is due to what? Ammonium chloride. Okay? So on heating, there will be a loss in weight. Loss in weight corresponds to ammonium chloride, that is NH4CL. And as a result of which, this is what the loss in weight, the difference which we can calculate. Okay, that is going to be present in one gram of the mixture. So suppose if the loss in weight is given as X grams. So X grams of ammonium chloride is present in one gram of the mixture. So therefore we say that 100 X is the composition, percentage composition of ammonium chloride. So therefore percentage composition of barium sulfate will be equal to 100 minus 100x ok because we are very sure that the mixture that is only what barium sulfate and ammonium chloride that's it so 100x ok is ammonium chloride so the substitute or supply that 100 from this so you get the percentage of what BSO4 so that means in other words in simple words I tell you that suppose if I get x grams as 0 0.2 grams ok that is the loss in weight how to find out the loss in weight is we have an initial weight before reading and we have what after reading also the weight is there you take the difference of that suppose it comes out to be 0.2 so 0.2 grams of ammonium chloride is present in what 1 gram so in 100 gram it will be how much? 0.2 into 100. So that comes out to be 120. So this will be 20. And the next will be 20. So 100 minus of 20 will give you what? 80. So that will be the percentage composition of bacon. Alright? So this is the way the entire calculation also can be done. So I just give you a recap of how exactly this experiment has to be performed theoretically and then of course the demonstration will be given to you and that is we are going to determine the percentage composition individually of barium sulfate and ammonium chloride which are present in the mixture. So first of all what we do is we take a 1 gram of a mixture containing BASO4 as well as nh 4 alright in a previously made silica crucible and then heat that crucible for around say 25 minutes ok that's sufficient enough now and then you cool it in a desiccator ok and then weigh, weigh the crucible again so there are going to be two weights one is before heating the other is after heating then have a look at this reaction which is taking place during the heating process barium sulfate remains as it is because it is thermally stable ammonium chloride completely decomposes into volatile components that is ammonia and hydrogen chloride gas so obviously that will be loss in weight that loss in weight directly contributes to the amount of ammonium chloride ok in 1 gram of the mixture which you have taken initially so you multiply by 100 so that will give you the percentage composition of ammonium chloride and whatever you get the percentage composition of ammonium chloride ok you have to subtract it from 100 that will give you the percentage composition of barium sulfate and this is what the simplest calculation is all about and I am sure you have understood this very well ok we start now with the process so first step is laying off the crucible because I told you it is previously weighed crucible so you can see the weight of the crucible, empty crucible is 17.817 now what we do is we press the button that is stay it shows 0, 0 now very slowly I am going to add 1 gram mixture Now you can see that the weight of the mixture is uh, 1 gram. 
and now we proceed for the heating purpose. Yes, my dear friends, we have already weighed the crucible and we have added one gram of the mixture in that. So this is what it is. Now this is the arrangement. Okay, we have a tripod stand over which we have a pipe plate triangle and over which the silica crucible which is containing one gram of a mixture containing barium sulfate as well as ammonia chloride. Now what's the next step? Yes, it's going to be heating. So we start the heating process now. So here we go for the heating process. This is the arrangement. I hope you have understood this very well. Heating of barium sulfate and ammonium chloride. So as I told you, barium sulfate is going to be thermally stable. Ammonium chloride undergoes a thermal decomposition. And you can see now, very slowly, the vapors are coming out of it. And those vapors are of NH3 as well as HCl, as I have already explained you in the reaction process. Can you check it out this? Okay, and this will contribute towards the loss in weight and that loss in weight is entirely due to ammonium chloride. Now you can see now, there is no fuel is coming out of it. So it's very clear that the entire amount of ammonium chloride is converted into ammonia as well as HCl. So we now stop the heating, which is being carried out for 20 to 25 minutes. Now once the heating process is done, the burner is off. Now very slowly, with the help of a clean tong, okay, please uh, make sure that there is no rust over here. Use some rusting paper also, sandpaper, so as to uh, make it very smooth, clear. So now, you are going to very slowly put it on a asbestos sheet, okay? And keep it for some time, allow it to cool. Now, in the meantime, I'll tell you what a desiccator is all about. Okay, this is a desiccator, okay? This is what it is, it's made up of glass. If you can see at the bottom, there is calcium chloride which will absorb the moisture. Alright? Because remember, whenever we are going to carry out a heating purpose, the substance has to be cool and dry. Okay? On the asbestos sheet, it may become cool, but then there are possibility that there will be some white droplets, okay, water droplets which will be there on the sides of the crucible. So for that purpose, the drying has to be carried out in a desiccator. Okay, now see how to open this is, please don't lift it up like this. Okay, you slowly slide. See, this is the way. Okay, to open it up. Now, very slowly, we are going to hold the crucible and put it over here. And cover this. Alright? So keep it in this uh, desiccator for around say 10 to 15 minutes. And after this, once the crucible gets cool, dry, and then we will proceed for the final weighing purpose. Now we go for the final weighing now. The crucible is cooled through as well as the sheet as well as the mm -hmm. desiccator. And this is what the crucible is being in the weighing balance. And you can check it out now, it is 18.610. Okay, this is the weight after the entire process, after heating as well as cooling. Alright? Okay, now I'll just explain the calculation once again, so that it becomes very easy for you to understand the entire experiment. And that is, first point was, the weight of the empty crucible. 
Okay, the weight of the empty crucible. And that weight of the empty crucible was 17.817 grams. Alright, next, weight of the crucible plus the mixture. We have taken 1 gram of the mixture, so it comes out to be what? 18.817 grams. Okay, this is before heating. And I give this as number one. Okay, because we are not heating the empty crucible by difference. What are we heating? Heating is the crucible along with the mixture. Okay, so that's the reason I give this as number one. Next thing is we go for after heating. So after heating, we have the weight of the crucible plus now I use the word residue. Okay, I don't use the word mixture. Because whatever is left out, that is called as residue. Ammonium chloride is already left out, so what remains is BaSO4. And that was 18.610 grams. So that is number 2. So the loss in weight can be calculated as it's 1 minus of 2. So 18.817 minus of 18.610 so that is going to give you 0 0.207 grams and that is directly corresponding to as I already explained you the amount of ammonium chloride which is present in 1 gram of the mixture so therefore the percentage of ammonium chloride will be how much because when this is in 1 gram, 0.207 corresponds to 1 gram. So percentage is 100. So it's very obvious we multiply this by 100. So 0.207 into 100. So that gives you 20.7. Okay. And therefore, the percentage of barium sulfate will be equal to 100 minus of percentage of ammonium chloride. So that is equal to 100 minus 20.7 so that is going to give me 79.3 okay it is going to give you what 79.3 and this is what our final result is if you remember the aim of the experiment was percentage of composition of barium sulfate and ammonium chloride present in the mixture so percentage of ammonium chloride is 20.7 and the percentage of BASO4 is 79.3 and I am very sure you have understood this entire experiment very well.